Hot boxing with Iron Mike Tyson. I'm watching this new show a lot on on YouTube uh, called Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson. Uh, unfortunately, I I didn't pay attention to the name of the the co-host. I'm bad with names, unless you're Iron Mike Tyson, but I know he was a professional football player, an, a lineman. He's a, you know, skinny white guy. <laughs> so, but, uh, I mean, he's he's good. He kind of helps bounce off of Mike and, and, you know, promote Mike and... And they like this, the setup that they have where Mike is the name, the face of the show and his name is on it and, and he's just the co-host and he probably does other things. Uh, and they get really good guests because, I mean, when Iron Mike Tyson wants you to be on his podcast, you don't say no, he'll bite your ear off. No, but seriously, Mike is a, he's a chilled out person nowadays. He's not... Not at all the, the scary mean guy that he was in his early days as, as the boxer Iron Mike Tyson. I mean he he talks about, you know, his you know, his therapies and stuff. I'm not gonna get into detail because that stuff you you wanna check out in the description, the link to his videos. But he tells you all about his different therapies that he's used over the years to to get his anger in check, the anger that he was taught, you know, by his boxing coach to be great, and and the different things that he used to finally get it in check. And if you watch it, you know what, exactly what I'm talking about. There's no missing it. It's a huge part of Mike's life, and he talks about it uh, a lot. And um, so it's it's really great. I mean, the first guest I saw was Roseanne Barr, and I really empathize with her. I feel like she's got a, you know, a little bit of a psychological disorder and probably shouldn't be ranting on Twitter. People who who have issues like that should be banned from Twitter. No shit, she'll admit it. It gets her in trouble and they told her to stay off of it and that's what happened. And, uh, but I empathize with her because I feel like as an artist, you know, the show Roseanne was her baby and her life's work, her her legacy, and it's kind of just ripped away from her, and and, uh, and she willingly gave it up for money, but get, willingly gave it up because she didn't want to screw over the other people who were on the show, who hadn't, some of them haven't been doing anything since the, the last show ended, and this was their big comeback, and they you know, we're counting on this season and she didn't want to screw them over and I commend her for that. You know, you don't have to agree with everything that everybody, that a person believes in order to like them. It's okay to like people that you disagree with. Uh, I don't always practice that, but I, and I should, I should be more tolerant towards, you know, the people that I disagree with, but and I, sometimes I, I take it to extremes, and, but, you know, in, in this case, you know, she's, she's a human, you know, she, she didn't purposely mean to offend people, but, you know, that happens when you rant at 3 o'clock in the morning on Twitter and you say stupid shit that you re woefully regret the next day. And this was one of those situations. But, you know, that's how social media will bite you in the ass these days. You think you... The second you think you're, you're immune and you're immortal and you can't be touched, that's when you get burned. And that's how I'm going to end it. Thank you.